All right, so iPhone 16 Pro Max, huh? They're calling it the most pro yet. And you know what? It just might be. But who actually has time to read through all those reviews and specs, right? We do. Yeah. We got our hands on a tech review that doesn't just focus on the specs, but on how this thing actually feels to use. The little things that make you go, ooh. So whether you just got your hands on one or you're thinking about upgrading, get ready to unlock some serious potential. This review doesn't waste any time jumping right into some features that caught my eye, especially for those of us who live on our phones. First up, Safari. Big upgrade. Imagine you're browsing and bam. Annoying ad pops up, ruins the whole flow. Like someone interrupting your train of thought. Exactly. But with this iPhone, no more. Tap on any distracting element on the page, an ad, a sidebar, whatever, hit hide, and poof, gone. You're in control, curating your own personal internet. Think about it. Focus. Productivity. No more clickbait ads disguised as articles. And the best part, the review says it works on almost any website. Uninterrupted YouTube, scrolling through your news feed without the clutter. Who wouldn't love that? Speaking of features straight out of a spy movie, you ever wish you could control your phone from your Mac? Full control, but no one can actually see what you're doing on your phone screen. Ultimate discrete multitasking. Right. Well, the iPhone 16 Pro Max can do exactly that. It's called iPhone mirroring. Say you're in a meeting and get a text you need to answer. You can quickly reply from your Mac and it won't even show up on your phone screen. It's like a secret digital back channel. This seamless integration is everywhere these days. It's more than convenience, it's about creating a fluid digital experience, blurring the lines between your devices. And I love me a good efficiency hack. Okay, ready for another one. This one blew my mind. Trust me, I've seen a lot of phone tricks. The redesigned control center. Remember how you used to be stuck with the default layout? We don't even know you can customize it. Exactly, but now with the iPhone 16 Pro Max, Rearrange icons, remove what you don't use, resize them, add shortcuts to your go-to apps. And like I always say, efficiency is key. It's like a personalized command center for your digital life. It's not even just about organization, though. That is always so satisfying. It's those seconds we lose every day, right? Looking for the app we need, boom. Couple swipes, couple taps, you're there. Like instead of digging through a messy drawer, everything's right where it should be. Exactly. And while we're talking about customization and control, let me drop a couple more gems from this review. First up, privacy. You can now lock individual apps with Face ID. Especially these days, right? Mm -hmm. Trusting our phones with so much, that extra layer of security is huge. For sure. And for those of us who, yeah, I'll admit it, like a good looking phone, you can match the app icon tints to your wallpaper. Super polished, almost like a professionally designed theme. All right, ready for the star of the show. This review, can't stop talking about this one feature. Honestly, I get it, the action button. This thing's gonna change the way you use your phone. It's not just a button. It's like they took the idea of a button and said, how customizable and powerful can we make this thing? So picture this, you're out with friends and you wanna grab a quick pick. Normally, unlock your phone, find the camera app, moment's gone. But with the action button, one hard press, camera launches instantly, another press, snap, you got the shot. Want video, press and hold. It just makes everything flow. Like the phone's an extension of what you want to do, not something you're always fighting with. That is such a good way to put it. And get this, it does even more. A light press and you control the zoom. Just swipe, double tap, even more camera controls right there at your fingertips. Options, it's all about options, but it gets even more interesting. You can customize it to open other apps too. Now that is personalization and efficiency. Right. What about launching your meditation app as you're winding down? or your voice notes app in class. Right. So many possibilities. Okay, but let's shift gears for a sec. We talked about customizing how you use the phone, but what about how it guides you? This review loves this upgraded maps feature, and it's not just about getting from A to B. This is custom walking routes. It's like your own little tour guide. I'm already thinking about exploring new cities. This changes everything for walking tours. Okay, so say you're planning a day of sightseeing. Right. right. Instead of picking just one destination, drop a bunch of pins, all the landmarks, the cafes, the little hidden spots you want to check out. iPhone creates a custom walking route, takes you through each stop. Oh, and you can choose different routes too. reverse it out and back, even a loop. No more getting lost. No more glued to your phone for directions. Now back to the camera for a minute. This phone, it's got some more surprises. 4K super slow-mo at 120 frames per second. That is professional level stuff. Yeah. Right in your pocket. You got that right. Remember those crazy smooth slow motion videos, expensive cameras. Now you get that crystal clear on your iPhone. 
Imagine your dog catching a frisbee, your friend doing a cannonball, everyday stuff, but epic. But here's the kicker. It's not just the slow motion. You're getting that buttery smoothness in 4K. Crystal clear detail, the colors. It's like you shot a nature documentary on your phone. Oh. And if that wasn't enough, this phone has, get this, four microphones, four. So much control over your audio. You're not just recording, you're shaping the sound. Okay, picture this. Filming a vlog in a busy cafe. Usually background noise is a nightmare, right? But with this audio mix feature, isolate your voice, minimize all that other noise, just like that, like having your own audio engineer. Content creators, eat your heart out. All right, let's talk megapixels though. This is where it gets really impressive. This phone, 48 MP camera, no, I know, jargon. Megapixels, more detail, more megapixels, more detail. And 48, that's detail for days. Like you can practically count the leaves on the trees in the background, sharp. Exactly. But here's the thing, and the review really stresses this. It doesn't actually shoot in 48 MP by default. You gotta go into the settings, enable Pro Raw and resolution control, then boom, you've unlocked the beast. But before you go and fill up your storage with massive photos, there's another trick, a new kind of JPEG. JPEG XL lossless. Sounds complicated, but stay with me, this is cool. Think about it like this. Remember old JPEGs from digital cameras? Save space, but the quality wasn't always great. This new JPEG XL, it's like the superhero of JPEGs. Keeps your 48 MP photos looking amazing, all the detail, the colors, but compresses them so you don't run out of space. It's like you get the best of both worlds right. Amazing photos, and you still got room for more. Okay, but let's go beyond 2D for a sec. This phone, venturing into spatial photography and video, you're thinking, wait, haven't we seen this before? You're right, 3D cameras, VR headsets. But this, this feels different. Feels like the start of something big. It's not even just about seeing things in 3D. It's capturing memories in a whole new way. Like depth, you're immersed. Imagine scrolling through photos and you feel like you're right back there. It's like instead of a postcard, you're actually there. Right now you can view these on devices like the Vision Pro. But it got me thinking, what if this is just the start? What if spatial photos and videos, what if they're just normal someday? Sharing those experiences with friends, family, taking them to different places, different moments. Pretty wild. It makes you think about the future, you know? What seems like a cool phone feature now could be how we experience and share everything. Like they say, the future is closer than you think. <laughs> okay, one more thing. This phone always has one more trick. Blends the futuristic with the everyday. You can now unlock your car with it. Seamless, right. It just becomes second nature. Okay, so walking up to your car, groceries, maybe it's raining, usually bags down, find your keys. <clears throat> with this iPhone, you just keep walking. Action button, boom. Car unlocks like magic. And you know what that means. The smartphone really is becoming the center of everything. It's your wallet, your keys, your entertainment, your maps, and now even your car remote, constantly evolving to make things easier. And that is a wrap on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. So much to cover, little things, big innovations, and honestly, we just scratched the surface. It's made for exploring. Uh, the more you use it, the more you find. You really make it your own. So go explore. Settings, features, make it yours. What hidden gems will you find? Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, keep diving deep.